Hey YouTube, back again with another software update video. Really excited to share this with you. Got a lot of great stuff here. Let's first get started with the Model 3, then we're gonna move to the Model X. Again, if you haven't seen my videos previously, this is a Model 3 with Autopilot 2.5 hardware. So what we get with this new update? We got driver visualization changes, which we're gonna go over later in the video, sentry mode improvements, lane departure avoidance, which we're also gonna demo later in this video, which is really cool, and that's a huge, huge safety thing, and I'll show you that later in the video. Uh, and then we also got lane depart emergency lane departure avoidance, and then so that's just an extra level of the lane departure avoidance. And then software update preference, which is awesome, because if you care about software updates like I do, I'm always excited to get the next thing then you now have a setting and you can actually go and click advanced. And if you read this blurb here, you can just pause the video if you wanna read this. And it's actually going to uh, allow you to get software updates as soon as they become available. Very happy to see Tesla add this because I feel like half the people could care less when they get a software update and the other half really want the software update. So now we're gonna go into lane departure avoidance um, and we're gonna put that up to assist and then also enable emergency lane departure avoidance. And again, I'm gonna demo that later in the video. First, we're gonna go over all the settings that you need to turn on, and you can pause this video and read this blurb if you like, but basically the car without autopilot on, if you don't use your turn signal, it's gonna give you some corrective steering to keep you centered in a lane. I mean, this is huge, like whether you're dr getting drowsy, you're falling asleep or something like that, I mean, this is this should be a safety feature that every car should have. All right, so sentry mode, we got some much needed updates to that. So when you turn it on, then you have the option to exclude work or home or exclude any favorites you've saved in your map. This is great because previously it was a pain in the butt to turn on sentry mode. So along with this, sentry mode also now has an icon at the very top of the display as I'm pointing to right here and you can actually just tap that anytime you want sentry mode on. So let's say you know, you're at your house, but your car is parked outside, and so you want sentry mode on you know, versus typically it's in the garage. Okay, so now let's move over to the Model X. So if you haven't seen my Model X before, this is an Autopilot 2.0 hardware vehicle. And so let's see what the difference is. So same software version, but not same hardware suite. So we have some differences here. So we get the driver visualization, which we're gonna go over. We see the sentry mode up there at the top, which I'm gonna do a separate video on the sentry mode because if you saw one of my last videos when I tested this, it actually wasn't recording any footage. It was saying that it had sentry mode and it would get the little eye on the screen and everything, but I'm gonna do a separate video on that sentry mode to see if they've done an update to actually record the footage to your flash drive like autopilot 2.5 or the model 3 does okay so just like the model 3 we also have software update preference which is great and swedish language support was also in the model 3 i know i didn't mention that what's interesting here is i don't see any lane departure avoidance nothing nothing mentioned here autopilot 2.0 cars i guess don't get that until you get the fsd computer swapped out and so there's nothing mentioned here about the lane departure avoidance or the emergency lane departure avoidance. And when I went into the settings, it wasn't there either. So I'm assuming that once the FSD computer comes out, then all the people with hardware 2.0 cars are gonna get that feature. So you can see just like the Model 3, the sentry mode is the exact same in the Autopilot 2.0 or the Model X car. So if we turn on sentry mode, we're actually gonna get to choose whether you want to keep it on or exclude home, exclude work, or exclude your favorites that are saved in the map. But take note here, like I just said, there's nothing here about the emergency lane departure warning, which Elon did say at Autonomy Day that the Autopilot 2.0 cars uh, aren't missing a lot of features, but I think this is a big feature that Autopilot 2.0 cars are missing and that, I mean, it's keeping you safer and it's missing this big safety feature. So come on, Elon, give me the new computer. Okay, update preferences. We can switch that to advanced, just like you saw in the Model 3. No difference here at all. So we're gonna switch this to advanced, of course. 
All right, now let's see what these features actually look like. This is a picture and it doesn't do it justice. The car looks beautiful and there's so much detail. Also, these screen transitions are where when you start to drive and when the car's turning, I mean, it's just beautiful. This is a huge improvement to the user interface and this is what we saw in the autonomy video that Tesla released a couple weeks ago. Another YouTube channel, I1 Tesla, did a great video on that autonomy day footage and I'll put a link right up here so you can go watch that. But this driver visualization is phenomenal. I mean, it looks fantastic when you're using it. It really is cool how it zooms in and out and gives you a different perspective over the cars when you need to see more traffic that's around you. Okay, let's jump into the lane departure avoidance. So I'm traveling down this road here and we are just going to start to drift into that left lane as soon as this car passes. Again, I'm trying to remain safe as possible and you can see right there, that left lane line started to illuminate blue there. Now when you see the steering wheel move back over, that's not me, that's the car automatically putting me back into my lane. So as I start to drift out of the lane, the car is actually gonna move me back into my lane. And you just saw another visualization transfer there where it kind of zoomed out. So along with the blue line and the warning on the screen, it also plays an audible sound, which I'll give it to you here. So as we make a U-turn here, you get to see a little bit more of the visualization changes and how it actually turns the vehicle, shows your headlights. I feel like it gives a better understanding of the cars around you. Take note though, we are not in autopilot and the car is going to take over when I try to do a lane change without using my turn signal. Again, we get this warning. You see that left lane line turn blue and the car automatically moves back over into our lane. Okay. I know I sound like a broken record, but again, I wanna reiterate, the car is automatically doing this. So as you can see, the whole steering wheel and my hand off the wheel, the car goes back over automatically. And now the audible warning doesn't happen every time. I feel like it's only when you're kind of more aggressively about to transition into the other lane, and then it takes back over. Right here is a close-up of what you see on your center display. And really, the video does not do it justice. This is beautiful. The car, like the detail in the car, you can see the glass roof, but more importantly, you see the blue line illuminate when the car detects that you're about to veer out of the lane and it keeps you safe and centered in your lane to avoid a collision. I hope that this feature is part of their standard safety pack and not just for people with autopilot because I really feel like every single vehicle needs this. Okay, let's switch back over to sentry mode because there was actually an update to sentry mode that I found that wasn't included in the release notes. In previous versions, when sentry mode was activated, you just saw the little display on the screen and that's it. But now when sentry mode's activated, you actually see the lights flash, which is great. I almost wish they would do like a little horn beep as well, but having the lights flash is definitely a good visual reminder for anybody who is thinking about you know kind of breaking into your car or something like that or as they get close to it so they know it kind of draws attention to the car it makes the touch screen more visible uh, versus if you know kind of nothing happened for those model 3 owners out there they'll be excited to know that the rear camera has also been fixed i know there was a lot of issues with the rear camera being very delayed when you go into reverse. That's been fixed with this update. I also feel like the rear camera seems brighter on the display and a lot more clear. Okay, let's move over to the Model X. So again, the Model X has 2.0 hardware, no change in the visualization as far as low speeds and the ultrasonic sensors giving you proximity to items around you. Again, the video does not do it justice but the Model X looks phenomenal. You can even see the pieces of glass for the Falcon Wing doors on top of this display Model X on the screen behind the steering wheel. So similar to what we saw in the Model 3, 
anytime you take a turn, this car is also gonna turn. You also see the headlights and brake lights a lot more clear. You actually get a brake light reflection showing up on the display as well. And it does the same thing where it'll zoom out and also zoom in depending on your speed that you're traveling or if you're passing through like an intersection or something like that, it'll zoom out to give you more uh, cars and show you more information that the car is seeing around it. All right, so overall, a ton of awesome new features like the driver visualization and the lane keeping assist. I mean, these are great. Not to mention the new flashing lights and the settings for sentry mode, but I'm most excited to test autopilot in this version to see if it's improved. If you've seen my other videos, I have a certain route that I take on a curvy backcountry road, and so I wanna see if it's improved. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.